Removal and installation of parts kit 639-734, starter bushing and plug. Before installing the bell housing on the transmission, I'll want to replace this worn out bushing and plug. It often gets overlooked because it's an integral part of the bell housing. But basically what we want to do here is knock out the old cap first, so I'm just using a punch. And I'll place it inside the bushing, give it a tap, and the plug will come right out of the front side of the bell housing. The cap or plug basically keeps debris or any sort of grease or grime from entering the bushing where the starter shaft rides. To remove the bushing, I found a socket that's the same diameter as the inner side of the bushing. I'll just insert it here and give it a few taps with my saw face hammer and the bushing will come right out the front side of the bell housing. Let's take a look at the old bushing. You can see here that it's oblong and shows some signs of wear. This bushing is important because it keeps the shaft and inevitably the gear teeth on the starter aligned with the gear teeth on the flywheel. Movement in this area can cause the teeth not to mesh and cause you starting problems. The kit from Ron Fitzpatrick Jeep Parts contains both a new bushing and a new cap. Let's start with the installation of the bushing. I'll give it a little lube on both the bushing and the inside of the orifice on the bell housing. I'll get the bushing square with the opening on the bell housing and tap it with a soft face mallet. You shouldn't have to use much force to seat the bushing. Once the bushing is almost flush, I'll go back and use the same socket I used to remove it to gently tap the bushing until it is flush with the surface on the bell housing. Again, I'm not using much force as I don't want to damage the lip on the new bushing. Once the bushing is inserted, we can flip over the bell housing and install the plug cap. I've cleaned the area where the plug will be inserted on the front, and here we go with the plug. You simply just seat it inside the hole and give it a tap with the mallet. It should go right in. We're almost done, but not yet. We've got to dimple the freeze plug so it stays seated inside the orifice. I'm using a simple drift, and I'll set it in the center of the freeze plug and give it a couple good blows. What this does is it forces the freeze plug and expands it into the orifice on the bell housing and seats it in place. The bushing is now good to go. 